Hi, I'm Dr. Courtney Sherman from Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida, and today we're going to discuss avascular necrosis of the hip, which is a hip disorder that we often see in patients uh, that causes hip pain. There are multiple causes for avascular necrosis. They include idiopathic, which means it just happens and we don't know why. Um, at times, oral steroids, like prednisone, can cause it. Sometimes alcohol can cause it. At times it runs in families, or there's other genetic or blood disorders that can cause it, such as sickle cell anemia. There are various treatments for, that, for it, depending on the level that it is or the stage. There's four stages of avascular necrosis, one through four, with one uh, demonstrating minimal to no changes on x-ray, but we can often see it on MRI. And then stage two and three and four, we can see on x-ray and confirm it on MRI. And as you go through that process of the staging, the disease gets worse and the hip can collapse at stage four, which leads to a hip replacement. So ideally, we like to see patients before they get to stage four, because if you have collapse of your hip, then the only treatment really is a hip replacement, which can be very successful for patients if need be. So in avascular necrosis in stages one and two, especially in at time stage three, we have a new uh, procedure that's minimally invasive uh, in order to regenerate the bone. Because in avascular necrosis, the bone has deteriorated uh, and partially died. Therefore, we're able to do this minimally invasive procedure where we harvest stem cells from their pelvis. We spin it down in a machine that extracts the stem cells in the operating room. And then we make a small six mil millimeter uh, hole into the bone and then place the stem cells into the region of bone that has degenerated with the goal of regenerating the bone in the region and avoiding a hip replacement for the patient. This procedure is relatively new in the United States. It's been done in Europe longer, and uh, the studies have shown that in stages one and two avascular necrosis, we can save a patient's hip over 80 to 90% of the time with this procedure. Uh, so we uh, have also found that same data in our patients at Mayo Clinic um, and able to save many hips where we would not have previously been able to do so. Patients with avascular necrosis typically present between 20 and 50 years old, although at times can be outside those age ranges, and typically present with hip pain and groin pain. If you have this and it goes on for multiple weeks, you should see a physician and obtain at least a hip x-ray or pelvic x-ray. If that is worrisome for avascular necrosis, then the next uh, study is typically an MRI and that will confirm the diagnosis. If this does demonstrate avascular necrosis, then it would be best to see an orthopedic surgeon at that point for further evaluation. For more information on this or other orthopedic conditions, please visit mayoclinic.org.